All right, I'm going to show you how to fish this guy right here, the Z-Man Finesse Frog. Guys, Darren here with Wendell Fishing. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this thing was sitting, I, I received it in a Monster Bass subscription box about a year ago, and that's where it sat until I finally decided to break this thing out and figure out how do you fish it because I've never fished one of these finesse frogs before. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this type of bait uh, recently. Who doesn't love a topwater blow up? And this is what these provide. So let me real quick show you how to rig it, where to fish it, and how to fish it. All right, let's do this. So let's start with the rigging. As you can see, this guy, look at this, missing a leg. I must have used this one before, and the bass just came and snapped his leg off, which is awesome. So these things work. Um, so we'll start with the rigging. Essentially, these little finesse frogs. They are a scaled down version of the of, of the hard lead frog. So this is a uh, just a little shy of three inches, 2.75 inches. They come in six different colors and they're made from this elastic material, which some people hate and some people love. I love it for a variety of reasons, which I'll show you in just a little bit. So let's talk about the rigging really quick. You're gonna need a two out hook. Uh, right now I have a straight shank, but I'd highly recommend using an extra wide gap. I couldn't find it at the moment. But essentially what you're gonna do, there's actually two pockets on this you can kind of see. So it really doesn't matter necessarily if you, if you rig it up on the top or you rig it up in the bottom because you're gonna be able to hide the hook on both sides. So what I'm gonna do, what you usually do is you just run it through the top and run about a quarter inch down and that's how you get it started. So if you want the hook to pop out this way, you're gonna run the hook starting off the opposite direction on your particular lure. So what you'll do is you'll run that through put it up in that offset bend and now what you want to do is kind of line up where that's going to sit pop it up in there and then what I'll do is I usually a skin hook um, just on a little bit to keep that hook down because a lot of times it'll want to pop up and there you have it that's how you rig up this little finesse frog on a two aught hook pretty simple now also keep in mind that a lot of the reasons guys don't like the Z-Man products because they're so light. And so this is the heaviest thing on this lure is going to be your hook. So you're going to want to use light tackle when fishing the Z-Man finesse frog. So the next question is where do you want to fish these things? And because they are smaller in design, you're not going to get a ton of casting distance unless you're using really light tackle. Um, these were designed to be fished in small streams, ponds, creeks and you see grass in the water right above the grass. In between the pads, I find a lot of luck with these guys. I'll kind of run them in between the pads and the fish will just come up and smash them. And a lot of times, if there are no pads or anything that I just mentioned, I'll just throw this to shore and kind of burn it back to my kayak. And here's the thing, I, a lot of the things that I mentioned, the small creeks, small ponds, uh, I'm right now on a 445 acre lake and this thing still slays. And I usually have the most luck in the morning and in the evening whenever using this finesse frog. And there's a couple different ways that you can retrieve this particular lure. Uh, I believe it was designed to be burnt. And what that means, you basically just cast it out and do a steady, fast retrieve back to your kayak. Uh, I believe it was designed that way because it has these little paddle legs on it that create this nice bubbling sound uh, whenever you're ripping this thing and burning this thing back to your boat. So if you're not getting that bubbling sound, which it was designed to do, it's either not, it's not hooked up correctly or not going fast enough. So keep that in mind whenever you're burning this thing back to your boat. And a pro tip here, if you're not getting hits on burning it back to your boat, vary your retrieve speed up a little bit. Maybe you're going too fast, maybe you're going too slow. You just never know what the bass are gonna want that day. So vary your speeds a bit and you might pick them up. If you are burning this thing, burning this thing, you still are not getting hits. Another way that I've had a lot of luck is basically throwing it out there and it's kind of popping, 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 pause, let it sit, pop, 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 pause. And a lot of times bass come up and just hit that thing on the pause. And so um, those are kind of the two ways if I'm ever going to be fishing this finesse frog, it's going to be either burning it back to my boat. And if that's not working, that's where I start. Um, my follow up will be throw, pop, pop, pop pause and usually one of the two will start picking up some bass. So what type of fish will this thing catch? Obviously largemouth bass, but according to Z-Man, you can catch some Southern Saratoga, some Barra, Barra, I'm not sure because we don't have those fish around here. And also mangrove jack. So if you're looking to catch some of those fish, this might be the trick for you. Now that was the most simple way to rig it up and fish it. There's also some other ways that you can rig this up. Um, you can use a weighted hook and I have an example of that in my under the seat 
Let me see what I got here, if I can show you what that looks like. This is a, a weighted hook, which is nice um, because this is gonna pull it down into water columns. So if you wanna fish your finesse frog, not on the top, but if you wanna let it drop maybe a foot or so and then start pulling it through the water, like a frog swimming through the water, um, that's another way. So all you gotta do is basically buy an extra wide gap um, weighted hook to aught in order to get that kind of deeper in the water column. And Z-Man actually makes what they're called TT lures and they're weighted like a jig. So if you want to fish the bottom water column, you can hook up your frog and kind of bounce that off the bottom as well. Hey guys, I hope that was helpful. Here's some other ways to fish different bass lures. I got a whole playlist. Thanks for watching. Good luck out there. Bye.